Hello, my name is Steve Bowler and welcome to the introduction to Juniper Series 3 video. What we're going to do is just take a few minutes to explain to you the topics that are covered in Juniper Series 3. We will also explain why we made Juniper Series 3, who G Juniper Series 3 is for, and we will also explain the logical progression of the Juniper series, series 1, 2, and 3. So why a Juniper series 3? Well, we've received a lot of positive feedback with our previous Juniper series, which are Juniper series 1 and 2, from our customers. And so we have a lot of people that want more advanced routing videos and topics. So that's what we've developed Juniper Series 3 around, uh, providing those advanced routing videos and topics to you. So the logical progression of the Juniper Series is Juniper Series 1 is the introduction into Juniper. Many of the foundation videos can be found in Juniper Series 1. Juniper Series 2 we take that foundation and, and we build upon Juniper Series 1 and we start to introduce more advanced routing topics like OSPF, BGP, ISIS, IPv6, and so on. And what we have done with Juniper Series 3 is we have simply just introduced more advanced routing topics. So let me I'm going to break down some of the videos and show you what we have covered. We have BGP Labs 9 through 15. So we have seven videos covering BGP. We have BGP Lab 9, we're going over eBGP Multi-Hop. Lab 10, we're going over default routes inside of BGP, how to use those, how to set them up, etc. We're also going over prefix limits in BGP, that's BGP Lab 11. BGP Lab 12, we're going over AS override. BGP Lab 13, we explain to you how to use the loops and advertise peer AS commands. BGP Lab 14, we go over the hold time and keep alive values within BGP. And the last BGP Lab that is incorporated into Juniper Series 3 is Confederation. So, so a lot of good advanced BGP videos in Juniper Series 3. We also have three more IP version 6 labs. So IPv6 Lab 4, we start to introduce you to Border Gateway Protocol. We have BGP Basics with IPv6. IPv6 Lab 5, we go over the Intermediate System, the Intermediate System, or ISIS Basics. IP version 6 Lab 6, we go over Default Routing within IPv6. And for Intermediate System to Intermediate System, we have lab 4 through lab 7. So we have four new ISIS videos in Juniper Series 3. ISIS lab 4 we go over the basic print, we go over metrics, wide metrics and reference bandwidth. ISIS lab 5 we go over route summarization. ISIS lab 6 we go over route leaking, level 1 external routes into level 2. We show you two ways to do this using routing policy and wide metrics. ISIS Lab 7, we go over route leaking. This is our... So ISIS Lab 6 is route leaking scenario 1. ISIS Lab 7 is route leaking scenario 2. The difference between the two is ISIS Lab 7, we show you route leaking from level 2 into level 1, and then Lab 6, we show you level 1 into level 2. Also on Juniper Series 3, we have two new OSPF labs, Lab 9 and 10. OSPF Lab 9, we go over Hello and Dead Timers. 
In Lab 10, we go over metrics and reference bandwidth. We have our first redistribution lab, Juniper Redistribution Lab 1. And we show you mutual redistribution between OSPF and RIP version 2. And then the last two labs in Juniper Series 3 are Juniper Tunneling Lab 1 and 2. In the first tunneling lab, we go over generic routing encapsulation, GRE tunnels. In Juniper Tunneling Lab 2, we go over IPv6 over IPv4 tunneling, otherwise known as IPv6 IP. So all in all, what you are getting in Juniper Series 3 is 20 brand new videos, and they make up over 12 hours of video. So let's go ahead and talk about who Juniper Series 3 is designed or made for. And Juniper Series 3 was created for individuals studying for advanced Juniper certifications and or individuals wanting to learn advanced routing topics to apply to their job. So the point is that many of these topics that you will see that are covered in Juniper Series 3 are real world and can be applied to real world scenarios that you will see in a lot of service provider and enterprise routing networks today. So first we talked about Juniper certifications. People study for Juniper certifications. This is a great product. You, you may be aware of the Juniper Networks certification program. You may not. I would check it out. It's J the JNCP. So what these videos will help you with are the following certifications. The JNCIS the JNCIP and the JNCIE for the service provider routing and switching track and also the JNCIS, JNCIP and JNCIE for the enterprise routing and switching track. So the S stands for specialist, the P is professional and the E is expert. So many of the topics that are covered in series three are included in the exam objectives for the uh, certifications that we just mentioned. So along with the videos that we showed you below, you are going to have a folder that is Juniper Series 3 initial configs and in this folder you will find all of the video or I'm sorry all the labs initial device configurations so they're all made available if we just go to Juniper BGP lab 10 we just open this up you see that we have the initial configurations for the routers available to you so it's very easy you just copy and paste these into your router and then you're off and running and if you notice we're using logical tunnels you will also find that out when you watch the videos these are also used for the initial configs as you can see but these can easily be tailored or substituted for physical interfaces if that is how your lab is set up or with EM interfaces which are another logical systems option So we've done a lot of work for you to create all these initial configuration configurations so that you can copy and paste because when you get into some of the more advanced ISIS labs like Lab 7, if we show you the initial configuration there, you can see that it's two pages and we have seven routers. So instead of having you build that from the ground up, copy and paste this into your router and you're ready to go, ready to follow the video.
And you may also be wondering the order in which to watch the videos. And that really depends on how you are applying uh, these videos, what you're applying them to. So an example of this would be if you are studying for a Juniper certification, just take a look at the exam objectives on Juniper's website and try to find my matching video for that topic. So some of them you might want to you might see some of the certif or the certification that you're studying for you might have to learn about OSPF metrics so if that's the case you just go to Juniper OSPF Lab 10 where we show you metrics and reference bandwidth so that's how I would apply or watch these videos if you're just trying to learn hands-on or if you're just trying to learn stuff for work it really just depends on what you're trying to do in your job if you're trying to learn about ISIS route leaking then obviously you would just go to the ISIS labs where we show you these or we show you how to perform route leaking so these videos were designed not only for certification use but for real-world application. So that's it. That is the Introduction to Juniper Series 3 video. And I really hope that you guys get a lot of knowledge and learn a lot from these videos. Thanks, and have a great day.